Do you struggle with self-destructive thoughts? Thoughts that lead you deeper and deeper into darkness? Do you wrestle with the excitement of doing something good, but then give in to the thoughts that plague you and not do it at all? I've had all of these experiences and more, and I understand where you're coming from. And honestly, if I'm capable of understanding it, then God is too. And he's willing to meet you where you're at. You don't have to put away your thoughts or feelings because God isn't scared or surprised by them. Instead, you get to bring them to him in total honesty. He'll ask you to put in the hard work required for healing, for keeping others and yourself safe, and to grow through it all. Jesus says in Matthew 11:28, "Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest." If you think that you're not welcome in the kingdom because you're having thoughts that seem beyond your control, maybe your next step is to go to someone who resembles Christ and share your burden with them. Maybe your next step is to confess. Maybe your next step is to do that thing that is hard for you, like get out of bed. Or maybe your next step is to share your story so that others can find hope and resilience through you, a person of value made in the image of God. God's not scared of the thoughts and feelings we have. He's big enough to handle our struggles and our fears. In fact, he's willing to be patient and faithful to us in our struggles to resurrect our life to its full meaning. There are so many examples of this in the Bible, and I've experienced this myself. Now, some of us will struggle with this for a brief time, and some of us will struggle with it for longer periods. But here's the thing. God will be with you in all of it. Regardless of how long you're in the desert, remember, Jesus says, "Come to me."